Hey everybody, this is Moses with ESCA and the Mountain Dew League. This season, we sat down with Gob B to discuss how exactly his team qualified through the MDL and all the way into ESL Pro League into this season. The first episode that we're coming out with is right now, and it talks about how he picked his teammates, how he defines their roles, and how exactly he picked the playstyle for his team. have the same goals. If you have different goals than your teammates, then uh, it will unfortunately fail or you, you cannot uh, achieve as easy as it is with someone uh, who has the same goals. So that's the one of the uh, most important things. Obviously, it's also important that you can come uh, along with the players. So um, that these two things were uh, accomplished by my teammates. We wanted to have a certain play style. Uh, we wanted to have a really aggressive orb because with Peter back in the days he um, he could be aggressive, but uh, um, Keith is one one or two steps more aggressive than him. Um, we knew it would be uh, sometimes hard to uh, handle him, but uh, Keith is uh, smarter than I thought, and um, that's a good good thing. And uh, he understands the, uh, he, that he needs to have a balance between aggressiveness and uh, smartness, I say. But you, he also uh, tries to be really smart in his aggressive moves. Um, so we wanted to have this kind of certain orb. And uh, with um, next we had like a player where we wanted to have like a really solid player who can multi-frag if, if they come to his crosshair. And yeah, we have the perfect guy with it. And that's, that's we wanted to have a certain playstyle. But we knew that uh, our players, like uh, the old NRG players, Legia, Tubson and me, needs to adapt also because it's always different to, with, to play with other players. But yeah, we wanted to have a certain playstyle. If you want to uh, rise in the Mountain Dew League, you need to play very much. You need to be really, really motivated. You need to uh, uh, not try to be toxic. You need to be, even if you are better than your teammates, it can happen because in the lower teams, their skill gap is uh, brighter, I think, or um, they are very different uh, skills because they are new teams, they're coming up, new talents, and some, some players are more talented, but uh, don't, be, don't be toxic, try to be calm, try to be uh, a good teammate, try to get everyone better, try to be, criticize yourself first, and um, if you do that, I think you can go to the Pro League. You need to have players which can also adapt. I think probably that's the biggest role that someone can adapt very good to certain uh, situations. And um, But I wouldn't say the one role is more important than others. Obviously you need that guy which is very talented, which is capable of carrying you throughout uh, more games. But um, also like the support player, this understanding, he needs to also clutch very good for you. Um, we had the season um, where we played in the playoffs against Gambit and it was a very interesting game. It was very hard to win and we needed to win it to uh, qualify for the EPL season. So we had, after this kind of games, really close games, we learned so much, we could w watch it again. Overall, the MDL season was helping us so much because we played so much against uh, Tier 2 opponents, but uh, from different regions and uh, you could see that Everyone is uh, have another idea how to play Counter Strike, and you learned so much from these tier two teams back in the day. Um, so we knew a lot, a lot of styles, and we uh, just uh, tried to steal the best what we th thought was the best. We wouldn't be the big now without uh, this MDL season.